to be drafted by the Indianapolis Colts. He is now the owner of 14 Northern Illinois records and four NCAA records after an incredible season last year. You see some of the strength right there as Lynch goes up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and that's the first Husky first down after a gain of nine. Look for Northern Illinois. Did receiver for the Iowa Hawkeyes, Jacob Hilliard, that was broken up by Marlon Moore. But the conference, the MAC conference last year, pass is broken up. Bryce with the tailback on second down. And he is met and also puts the ball on the ground. Northern Illinois claims to have it. Wiseman fumble, Husky football. Very, very rare turnover for Mark Wiseman. Number 49, Jason Meehan pounces on that one. And the Huskies, who failed to create any turnovers against Iowa last year, they already have won. 9-18 left in the first quarter. Turnover leads to the Husky off three last year to pass for more than 3,000 yards and also run for more than 1,500. Back to the air. He's now three out of four, and that's a Northern Illinois first down. So Ron Brown hauls it in, turns up that left side, and that's a Husky gain of 14. So it's always a battle. He's done a good job keeping his weight where it is. Sometimes that training table a little too welcome there after a long summer. Jordan Lynch sets an excellent catch. As he fired it high, Jawan Braskison hauls it in very close to another Northern Illinois first down. That's a gain of 10. They, they must feel like he was 6 for 8 in attempts between 40 and 49 last season. And no doubt about that one. Matthew Sims strong right down the middle. Plenty of leg, lots of accuracy from 47 yards out. So the Huskies turn the Mark Wiseman fumble into three points and take the lead 3-0 his toughness so it's not an automatic first down brings up third down and seven empty backfield for Lynch plenty of time nobody open back across his body and that's Gerard Brown right at the first down marker Gerard Brown picked up seven yards on third and seven that's where they're he's dangerous Paul. looks like Iowa now is only rushing four that's why there's so much time Offensive line does a nice job. He, of course, he has great escapability, finds his man. They, Iowa probably needs to bring him down situation. They're just rushing four right now. And there's a reason why they're a little leery to play man, Chuck, because when you do that, you lose sight of the quarterback, and against Jordan Lynch, it's not a good idea. Once again, look at the time for Lynch. Looking deep, has a wide-open Husky. Touchdown at Northern Illinois. Tommy Lee Lewis for six. Just a simple post pattern, and he wiggled it at the top. They're going fast right now. I was having a hard time getting a call in, and that's what happens against the no huddle offense. Remember now, these guys have been doing this for a number of years, how fast they're going. Great protection. Two-man route, simple post route, safety's not there. Kirk Ferentz has in his running backs to go three deep. We've seen... Bullock, we've seen Weissman, and for the first time, number 33 is Jordan Kanziri. Big Rudolph underneath, and the North Illinois defense doing a nice job there, stepping it up. Those wide receiver that screens. No game. Those wide receiver screens, Paul, are, are feast or famine. <laughs> they go for nothing. Or 49 yards up top to Damon Powell. His first catch is a Hawkeye. But the ball goes back to Jordan Lynch, and there goes number six, spinning and running strong, picking up just over 10 yards for another Northern Illinois first down. Well, it's been all Jordan Lynch, Paul. Have we seen another guy touch the ball? Maybe once. Right. He, they want the ball in his hand. And, and Coach Kerr was talking about very... As expected, Jordan Lynch leading the way on the ground and in the air so far for Northern Illinois. Facing second down six right now. Makes the inside give. He was rushed, but gets that one off. Big hit, and Christian Kirksey has the hit. Now the football. No flags. Touchdown, Iowa. Huge defensive play. They needed that right now, Paul. Great play, great hit. Is this a little flat pattern? Jordan Lynch. Oh, he gets hit. And what's every defensive coordinator want to do? That's get pressure with four. And the Huskies are doing that right now. Just sneaking that inside is Meyer, 28-yard field goal. And we have 8.24 inside the 20 previously here today. 
didn't come away with a touchdown. That led to a field goal moments ago. And right now it's third down and nine from the 11-yard line. Yes, and nice coverage. pocket for Rudolph. Into the end zone. Touchdown, C.J. Fedorowicz. He threw it up right to the big guy, just playing basketball. He just blocked the defense for Jordan Lynch. Hawkeyes rush only four. Lynch keeps it himself, and he's got enough for a first down. That's that same play that he burned him on last year, I think, for a 70-yard-plus touchdown run. It's just a little quarterback, little quarterback draw play. Running back, lead blocks. They just, they have the defense spread out. Go, they picked up the third down with the quarterback draw. There's your quad look out here, Paul. Four receivers trying to single up, the, get the single over there, didn't get it. Lynch was looking left the whole time. He put it behind his receiver, but that's an excellent catch. Angelo Sebastiano helps out his quarterback, and the Huskies pick up 18 on third and four. Went to a cover two in the back end. When you do that, you try to attack the middle of the field. And when you do that, you try to attack the middle of the field, which is exactly what Northern Illinois did. Now they hurry up. Look how quickly they're getting right back to the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 from the 38. 410 remaining until halftime. Tommy Lee Lewis. Breaking tackles and picking up another Husky first down. Down to the 21-yard line. This is what fastball offense does. It makes tackling to bring it to the fans the better. First down and 10. The Huskies on the move here. Lynch play action. Plenty of time to pass. Wants Tommy Lee Lewis. Touchdown Huskies. You saw the poise in the pocket there, Paul, with that throw. That's a that's a veteran throw right there. Bought a little time for his white his receiver to run a wheel route down the sideline out, out of the backfield. You need a little time to do that. Backs coming out of the backfield for a wheel route. We call it down the sideline. Had to buy a little time. Great protection. Excellent throw. You hear so often how a quarterback's not supposed to run it or throw it here. I would say you take a shot with the passing game, especially if you're one-on-one -on -one outside, just throw the fade route up, see if they can do that. Right to the passing game, as you said. Can he keep it himself and get in? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Rudolph. Or do that. <laughs> or just go around the left side. <laughs> That's a great heads-up play by Jake Rudolph there, Paul. Good job. They're going to put something together. What they're saying right here is, hey, let's eat up the clock. We're, we're probably going into halftime, but if we get a big run. Like right there. Then we'll keep going. Let's see if they keep going. Harris Jr. out to the 44. Now it's decision. We saw Tommy Lee leave the game with leg injury in the last series. Go to the ground game to pick up the first down. And there's Cameron Stingley. NIU coaches spoke so well of him during the week, and there's really his first big play. On third down and one, he gets six. He's a big, strong back with great leg drive here. It just is a diamond formation, so they're packing the set on offense. A lot of bodies in there, and they just run an inside zone play, and he and he cut it backside to the soft spot of the soft, soft spot of the defense. Northern. Of course, now they're going for it on fourth down. Fourth down and two here, Chuck. Inside their own territory from the 46. Lynch fakes the toss, keeps it himself. The Iowa defense right there. Looks like Lynch got about half a yard past the stick. Anthony Hitchens was there with the tackle. Kirksey also in on the play. Going back to that previous play, Paul, actually that was a good play call because they wanted to get some of the third down back, third down distance back for this fourth, manageable fourth down. So they were thinking ahead on offense for Northern Illinois. That was actually a good play calling sequence by the one option. It's primarily a throwing down and distance. Empty backfield, two wide receivers to Lynch's left and three to his right. Again with time, and that's an excellent catch by Deron Brown. The pass was behind him. He hauled it in, picked up a Husky first down, gained a 15. Great job by the Northern Illinois offensive line of sliding to get pressure. They were bringing blitz off the edge, Iowa was. When you do that, you're going to leave some holes in the secondary. Jordan, you can't do that to Jordan. That's a lot of weight coming at you, not only with the offensive line, but with Weissman. Quick offense coming at you right now, and uh, Rock Lemon in the backfield for the Huskies. To keep that for no gain. Northern Illinois said enough of this. We're bringing more people to the ball. 
from the secondary. Back on the field, looked like it was just a cramp. He was helped off the field, but he's back in full play now. Jake Rudock, thank you, Daniel, with the fake draw, and his hand was hit as the ball was released, and that is an easy interception for the Northern Illinois Huskies. Deshaun Durant from the safety position, kind of like a center fielder, just ran underneath that one and hauled it in. Well, I would try to take a shot here on first down, taking advantage of this field position. A lot of coordinators take shots along pass plays in between the 40s. All right, little play action fake. They had plenty of guys to protect. And making the play there, Chuck, is Ken Bishop, defensive yep. tackle, the senior. Their best player on, def on the defensive line did a nice job of just bull rushing, penetrating, During the play. and causing that Side interception with his hand up. On the Iowa bench. See, he got right on his right Five arm. penalty at the end of the run. First down. Turned into a punt play on. almost. Ball field. Punt team out there on fourth down and five. Send the guy in motion on the punt team. Oh, a little Set fake here. Fake. Oh, a little option fake. And the Huskies had enough for a first down and then some. Fake punts. Leads to Northern Illinois inside the Iowa 10-yard line. Tyler Waddell. Whenever you have a funny-looking punt formation, you can expect a fake every time. I don't know if Iowa recognizes it at all, especially when they send a man in motion. This is a little option play off the defensive end. Perfectly executed. Great play call on fourth down. Interference. Gets back to what I said before. They the had play. a two-play call. That's Hitchens and also Morris. No returning BCS conference duel. Had four tackles as a tandem last year. This is from 25 yards away, Matthew Sims. Get, you, get yourself your field goal here. Saves you from trying to get a touchdown late. 42 yards on the fake punt. They've been running the football instead of passing it. Well, the Hawkeyes have been going to the air on third and short. And that's Cameron Stingley. Wasn't touched until John Louderman tackled him there out across the 35-yard line. Nice job up front by the Husky offensive line to pick up the first. Boy, Stingley's running well. Staying, staying low with his pads. They got again. They're, they're pulling a guard to get an extra hat on the defense, an extra blocker out in front. I last year from 40 to 49 yards, he was six out of eight. And that one is dead center. Meyer with his second field goal of the afternoon, and Iowa's lead is pushed back to seven. Not get it done. We'll see if they'll be able to accomplish that today. All right, Dan, 27 to 20 now, 6.42 left. Jordan Lynch with time, looking deep. And that's a perfect pass. Sebastiano, excellent job of hanging on there, going up and getting it. What a veteran throw by Jordan Lynch, keeping that ball to the outside at one-on-one -on -one coverage. A little slant and go, creates some space on the defensive back. Great ball placement. There, there's your veteran. Miserable spot here for Jordan Lynch, second down at 19. Timing, accuracy, velocity shows it all there to Deron Brown to pick up 11 yards. Smart smart call by offensive coordinator Bob Cole there. You're not going to get it all back in one shot. Just get some of it back and give yourself a third down, which they have right now. Not perfect, but it's manageable. Third down and seven. Make the inside give. Plenty of time for Lynch. Steps into one. Brown is wide open. Touchdown, Huskies. It looked like B.J. Lowry there stumbled and couldn't get back outside to the receiver on the outside. He had two receivers coming at him. He just couldn't recover in time. It was a four vertical type from his own 45. He can breathe a little easier because he has field position. One time out remaining. Oh, and he's picked off. Jimmy Ward, the star safety for the Northern Illinois Huskies, picks it off, takes it down to the 30-yard line. It looked like they ran a curl flat. He might have had the curl open. He went to the flat. It's a safe call. He just underthrew it, Paul. He threw it behind the receiver. That's just a physical mistake. Well, he's made so few today, yep. and what a costly one. Jimmy Ward led the team in tackles a year ago, an all-conference performer. 
coming up with the play of the day so far defensively for Northern Illinois. Gavante Mark Manley almost punched that ball out, but Ward hung on. If you if you would have waited a little, that's that's a tough situation. First down and Santa Lynch from the Iowa 30. Stingley running top down to the 21-yard line. That's a gain of nine. Now Northern Illinois can just play clock ball, get in position for the field goal to win the game. They really don't have to be in a hurry. To He's also two for two today. And we'll let you watch and listen as the Huskies attempt to go up by three. Never a doubt for Sims right down the middle. Four seconds left, and Northern Illinois leads by three. Oh, it's just too bad how it turned out. Uh, after that interception, the, the way Jake's been playing, Jake Rudock's been playing, nice, nice kick here, right down the middle. Never a doubt, got all of that one, had the distance, had the accuracy, Rod Carey, the former Big Ten player, the center at Indiana, likes it, Kirk Ferentz does not. And Northern Illinois goes up 30 to 27. You Jake Rudock, two interceptions in the second half, Chuck. The second one. I say hook and ladder, look for a short, tight catch, and then keep the ball alive. Final play of the right game, right Rudolph. They've okay, got to keep it alive here. It's a wide open Don Shunker. Ball's off the ground, and it is scooped up by Rudolph. And he pitches it back to Doozy, and the ball eventually goes out of bounds, and that's how it ends. The Northern Illinois Huskies made it to a BCS Bowl game last year with 12 wins. They have one win this season and what a huge win it is coming to Iowa City and knocking off the Big Ten's Iowa Hawkeyes 30 to 27. Final play here. We check it out. There was there's a moment of hope for the Hawkeyes, but eventually Ball's on the ground and out of bounds, and that's it. It's a good call. You just got to keep it alive here as best they can. They had a chance. They outflanked the defense here. They had numbers. Those are hard plays. Very rare, but hats off to Northern Illinois. They played well. They played well down the stretch when it counted. Huskies jumped out to a 10 to nothing lead. They saw that lead evaporate. Iowa led most of the game, but then Northern Illinois hung around and late. They go ahead 30 to 27 as Matthew Sims goes three for three for the Huskies. The 36 yarder wins it at the end. Jordan Lynch also a big game 25 out of 41 275 yards three touchdowns. He did not throw an interception. That's it from Iowa City here inside Kinnick Stadium for Chuck Long and Dana Hughes. I'm Paul Burmeister. Enjoy the rest.